Mark Twain said, Everybody talks about the weather, but nobody does anything about it. This is Tony Heller from Visitech.ai. I live in Cheyenne, Wyoming, and my perception is that this month has been very cold. Let's use Visitech to find out if my perception is correct. Start by going to app.visitech.ai. If you're a subscriber, this is what you'll see. I'm going to click on the green button and tell it what I want. Wyoming temperatures. We're now seeing all 982,680 daily maximum temperatures in the United States Historical Climatology Network database for Wyoming. This goes back to the year 1893. For this analysis, I'm just interested in Cheyenne, however. We're now seeing all 40,198 daily maximum temperature readings for Cheyenne going back to the year 1915. But right now I'm only interested in temperature readings for the month of January. We're now looking at all 3,435 daily maximum temperature readings during January at Cheyenne, Wyoming. The coldest January day in Wyoming was January 11, 1963, when the maximum temperature was minus 21 degrees Fahrenheit. And the warmest January day in Cheyenne was January 27, 2015, when the maximum temperature was 70 degrees. In order to make the graph easier to understand, I'm going to set the minimum Y to minus 30 and set the maximum Y to 80 degrees. This is a temperature range of 110 degrees. So a good choice for the Y grid spacing would be 11 or 10 degrees per interval. So I'm going to come over here to settings and set the Y grid dimension to 11. Now the Y axis goes from minus 30 to 80 degrees in 10 degree intervals. The next thing I want to do is look at this graph as a bar chart. Right now it's showing temperatures above 0 degrees Fahrenheit in red and below 0 degrees Fahrenheit in blue. I want to change this so that it shows temperatures above freezing in red and below freezing in blue. So I'm going to come over to settings once again and select bar chart center Y as 32. Now we have temperatures above freezing in red and temperatures below freezing in blue. Before we do anything else, we're going to look at this number right here. The average January maximum temperature in Cheyenne is 38 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let's look at temperatures for just the past 40 days. Plot last 40 days. Now I'm going to center the graph using the left arrow key on the keyboard. I'm moving the graph over to the left so that it will be easier to understand moving forward. We can see that the average temperature this month in Cheyenne has been about 31 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 7 degrees below the long-term average. So my perception of a cold month has been quite accurate. You can see from the blue bars that most days this month have not made it above freezing here in Cheyenne. Now I want to look at other years, and that's very easy to do with Visitech. I'm going to press the capital Y key to move backwards one year. Now we're looking at January 2024. There are a lot more days above freezing, but the average was still slightly below the long-term average. Let's go back another year to 2023. Once again, I'm going to press the capital Y key. The average maximum temperature in Cheyenne during January 2023 was 34 degrees, which was 4 degrees below average. So the past three Januaries here in Cheyenne have been colder than the long-term average. Now let's go to 2022 by pressing the capital Y key once again. Temperatures during 2022 were about 3 degrees above the long-term average, and there were only 5 days which didn't make it up to the freezing mark. So in just a few minutes, we're becoming experts in the climate of Cheyenne, Wyoming. 
Now we're going to move back in time very quickly by holding down the Shift and Y keys. We can see that January 1963 was a very cold month in Cheyenne, with the average maximum temperature below 29 degrees and a lot of very cold days. But January 1961 was a very warm month, with only a few days that didn't make it up to freezing. January 1954 was a very warm month with temperatures 6 degrees above the long-term average. January 1953 was even warmer with temperatures 8 degrees above the long-term average. However, January 1949 was extremely cold with temperatures about 12 degrees Fahrenheit below the long-term average. January of 1949 brought this historic snowstorm to Wyoming. The U.S. Weather Bureau published this map during 1949 showing how cold January was in the western U.S., while the eastern U.S. was quite warm. Now let's look at the very cold January of 1937 here in Cheyenne. There were only a few days which made it above freezing that month, and temperatures averaged about 13 degrees below the long-term average. The U.S. Weather Bureau published this map in 1937, showing that January was very cold in the western U.S. and very warm in the eastern half of the country. Now let's look at January 1930, which was the coldest January on record here in Cheyenne. January 5th, 1930 was very warm here in Cheyenne, with temperatures reaching 54 degrees Fahrenheit, but then temperatures plummeted for the rest of the month. The U.S. Weather Bureau showed that January 1930 was very cold west of the Appalachians, but quite warm on the eastern side. We've only been studying this problem for seven minutes, but we already know more than most of the weather experts in the world. We can do the same exercise in any of the lower 48 states in quite a few other countries. And if you prefer to use Celsius, you can just change it from F to C. There's no reason to just talk or speculate about the weather when you can visualize it so easily at app.visitech.ai.